Hello everyone! Ituloy natin ang usapan tungkol sa annuities. Let us discuss deferred annuity. Annuity is a series of equal, pare-parehong payments at regular and consistent intervals. Ang deferred annuity ay yung pangatlo na klase ng annuity na pag-uusapan natin. It is an annuity where payment is delayed or deferred. Kung ang ordinary annuity, nagbabayad tayo sa huli, consistently, sunod-sunod. Kapag annuity due, nagbabayad tayo sa umpisa ng time period, sunod-sunod din yung pagbabayad. Kapag ka-deferred annuity, meron tayong butas, meron tayong certain time or period na hindi muna nagbabayad. As we can see dito sa ating cash flow diagram, wala pang payment ng annuity at period 1 and then period 2, nagsimula lang siya ng annuity at period 3. Kaya etong first part, tinatawag natin to as period of deferral. For this one, ang i-compute natin ay ang present value or ang present worth nung pera kapag merong delays in payments and then meron tayong payment ng annuity. How do we solve for the present value of deferred annuity? Ito yung formula na gagamitin natin. We have PVDA. This is the present value of deferred annuity. It is equal to our A. Ito yung series and consistent payment which is our annuity multiplied siya sa 1 minus 1 plus i wherein yung i na nasa numerator at saka yung nandito can be computed by dividing our rate of interest should be in decimal divided by m. This is our number of periods in a year. Kapag ang compounding period is annually then m is equal to 1. Kapag ka semi-annual m is equal to 2. Kapag ka quarterly our m is equal to 4. While kapag monthly, our m is equal to 12. Then it is raised to n. This is computed by multiplying our m. Ito pa rin yung number of periods in a year times our time in years. When it comes to formula, etong first part ang ginagamit natin for the present value of ordinary annuity. Tapos imumultiply natin siya kay 1 plus i raised to negative k. Kung familiar din kayo sa formula for the present value of annuity due, ito lang yung kasama. Pero kapag ka ang usapan natin ay deferred annuity, maglalagay tayo ng exponent na negative k, where our k is the number of periods na nag-defer sa payment yung client. Kung titignan natin yung cash flow diagram natin, meron tayong dalawang periods of deferral, number 1 and number 2. Kaya kung ito yung sasolve natin, our k should be equal to 2. When it comes to the present value of deferred annuity, merong advantage kapag ka nag-defer ka ng payment. Ibig sabihin, yung pera na dineposito mo ay tumutubo na for 2 periods bago ka mag-umpisang kumuha ng iyong pera dito sa ating 3rd period. Kaya kung ikaw yung naglalabas ng pera, kapag mas mahaba yung period of deferral, mas malaki yung matatanggap mo na annuity in the future. On the other hand, kung ikaw naman yung nanghiram ng pera, tapos nag-decide ka na hindi ka muna magbayad sa unang dalawang period, then kapag kainad natin lahat ng values ng annuity, mas mataas siya kasi mas malaki yung tubo or interest na babayaran. So this is it para sa basic concept ng deferred annuity at yung formula niya. Now let us use this para sa ating example. We have Mr. A. He wants to receive a consistent amount from a bank that offers 6% interest to be compounded annually. As we read our problem, ilagay na natin yung given values dito sa baba. So we have our rate of interest. Nire-represent natin siya as letter R is equal to 6% in decimal, that is equal to 0.06. And then our compounding period, tumutubo tayo annually. Since our M, this is the number of periods in a year, and again, annual yung concern natin, kaya yung M natin is just equal to 1. Here's the question, if he will delay his withdrawal for the first 5 years, ibig sabihin hindi mo na siya tatanggap ng pera for 5 years, And then, ang compounding period ay annually, isang besa sa isang taon. Ang ibig sabihin lang nito is he will defer or delay 5 payment period. Kaya with that, gagamitin natin yung variable na k. It is the number of deferral period that is just equal to 5. Then, tuloy natin yung problem. How much should he deposit now? Ibig sabihin, we are talking about the present value of deferred annuity to receive 100,000 pesos for every year. Kaya we have our annuity, our series of payment that is just equal to 100,000 pesos. And then tatanggap siya nitong pera na to for every year for the next 10 years. 
So, eto yung span natin. Nag-defer siya ng 5 years, tapos tatanggap siya ng pera for 10 years. Kaya, we have our time t that is equal to 10. Now, para makompleto yung given values natin na nandito, kailangan natin ng value ng i tsaka ng n to compute for our i. This is just equal to, kapag ginamit natin yung formula na nasa taas, rate of interest r divided by m. So, we have our r that is 0.06, ang m natin is just 1. So, we have 0.06 divided by 1, that is simply 0.06. And then, yung n naman natin, as we have written here, it is the products of m and then t. Ang m natin is 1, ang time natin na nandito is 10. So, 1 times 10, that is simply equal to 10. Ngayon, nakompleto na yung given values natin para sa formula. Gamitin na natin to isulat natin sa baba, so that we can solve for the value of our present value of deferred annuity. Ngayon, umpisahan na natin yung computation process. Let us proceed with our solution. Gaya nga nung sinabi ko kanina, kailangan natin isulat yung formula. So, we have to solve for the present value of deferred annuity, that is PV sub DA. It is equal to, using our formula A times 1 minus 1 plus I. This is raised to negative N. And then, this is all over I. And then, imumultiply natin siya sa 1 plus I. And then, dahil deferred annuity, this is raised to negative K. Ang susunod na step natin, ipapalit natin yung given values natin papunta dito sa formula. So then, solving for our PVDA, this is equal to our annuity that is equal to 100,000. And then, imumultiply natin siya dun sa nasa loob natin. This is 1 minus 1 plus yung I natin na nasa taas that is equal to 0 0.06. This is raised to negative N. Our N is equal to 10, kaya ang negative N is equal to negative 10. And then, this is all over the value of our I which is equal to 0. 0, 6. Then kapag tinuloy natin yung solution natin, kailangan natin itong i-multiply dun sa nasa labas natin which is 1 plus i that is 0 0.06 and then this is raised to negative k. Kung babalikan natin yung given natin, our k is just equal to 5. So this is equal to negative 5. Then simplify muna natin yung kaya natin before we go sa ating calculator. So we can perform our addition here, 1 plus 0 0.06. So, this is just equal to our annuity still of 100,000. And then, imumultiply sa nasa loob. 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.06 is 1.06. This is raised to negative 10. And then, all over our i na 0 0.06 multiplied to 1 plus 0 0.06 is also 1.06 raised to our period of deferral which is negative 5. Ngayon, gagamit na lang tayo ng calculator para makuha natin ng eksakto yung present value of deferred annuity. Pero kung gusto nyo siyang gawin one step at a time, I would suggest na gumamit kayo as many decimal places as you can para yung sagot nyo ay hindi malayo dun sa direct computation using calculator so to avoid random error. Kaya kapag pinindot na natin to sa calculator, the present value of deferred annuity this is equal to Five hundred forty nine thousand nine hundred eighty eight pesos and fifty two centavos. This is our final answer. Ete yung amount na kailang ideposito ni Mr. A para makatanggap siya ng one hundred thousand pesos for ten years annually. Pagkatapos niya magdefer ng payment period niya for five years. And finally, this is our process kung paano natin makukuha yung present value of deferred annuity. Hello everyone, I am Sir Kenneth of STEM Teacher PH. Kung nakatulong sa'yo itong video na to, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell para updated kayo sa ating uploads. Bye!